an equation of the form x plus 1 over x is equal to 3 then we use the given equation to find the expression of x to the power of 100 then plus 1 over x to the power of 100 okay so let's start from the given equation which is x plus 1 over x equals square root of 3 okay so the first thing to do here is to take it by both sides because there is no way to find the value of x here okay so let's just take it by both sides so this is x plus 1 over x okay then you have square root of 3 all to the power of 3 okay and for us to expand this now you need to make use of binomial expansion remember that when you have a plus b raised to the power of 3 this can actually be written as a cube plus 3a squared b then plus 3ab squared then plus b cube you can see it here see it here that uh as the power of a decreases then the power of b increases that's the meaning okay so you apply this expression here to find the expansion of x plus 1 over x cube okay so by substitution now you have x cube then plus 3 x squared then 1 over x plus 3 again x then 1 over x squared plus 1 over x cube okay and square root of 3 raised to the power of 3 can be written as square root of 27 okay now from here you have x cube let's simplify this further this is 3x squared times 1 over x of course this you take this and you have 3x plus 3 remember this is 1 over x squared so which is 1 over x squared times x so that will definitely give us 1 over x so here you have 3 over x then plus 1 over x cube equals what which 27 can be written as 3 times 9 or 9 times 3 okay so you have x cube plus now i want to rearrange this now i want to take the cube together x cube plus 1 over x cube then here you can factorize 3 out here i'm talking about the middle terms so where you have x plus 1 over x now okay and of course square root of 9 is what is 3 so this is 3 root 3 okay now recall that this x plus 1 over x we have value for that from the beginning to be square root of 3 okay so we can easily substitute root 3 to be that so we have x key plus 1 over x key plus 3 square root of 3 then cos 3 root 3 so what happens there this you take this okay so and you will left it x cube plus 1 over x cube equals what equals 0 okay now so what's the next thing to do here so let's just take x m and cross multiply so when you take x m now this is x raised to the power of 3 times 3 that would be x raised to the power of 6 plus 1 over x cube equals 0 then when you cross multiply this will definitely give us what? x to the power of 6 equals 0 okay and now from here we have x to the power of 6 equals minus 1 now so we have value for x to the power of 6 to be minus 1 don't forget you can't take 6 root of both sides though okay because for equation like this it must have 6 roots okay but let's stop here from this that x to the power of 6 is equal to minus 1 now let's go back to the given expression we are looking for which happens to be x to be 100 then plus 1 over x to the um, to be 100 equals unknown okay so is there a way to rewrite 100 as uh as a factor of six okay what i mean by that is we can replace you know 100 can be written as 102 minus 2 okay when 102 can be written as 17 times 6 minus 2 okay so what i'm doing here is just that i want to express this power which is 100 to be 102 minus 2 so and that will be x to the power of 102 minus 2 then plus 1 over x to the power of 102 minus 2 okay so why are we doing this you know when you apply the rule of indices this is just like x to the power of 102 then over x squared then plus this is x to the power of 2 then over x to the power of 102 
and again we've seen it here that 102 102 is divisible by by 6 so that is this that can be written as x raised to the power of 6 times 17 so 6 times 17 will give us 102 then you have x squared plus x squared over x to the power of 6 then times 17 and don't forget from here okay we've gotten the value for x to the power of 6 to be minus 1 okay now all we now need to do now is to replace x to the power of 6 here to be minus 1 so that is minus 1 is to the power of 17 over x squared plus x squared over minus 1 is to the power of 17 okay and looking at this you don't actually need to rewrite minus 1 in 17 places whenever negative number is raised to the power of odd number the result must be negative that's the meaning okay since the number we have here is 17 which is odd so minus 1 raised to the power of 17 will give us minus 1 so this is minus 1 then over what's x squared plus x squared over minus 1 okay and again this is minus 1 over x squared minus x squared and from here you have we can factorize minus 1 out then you left it minus you left it 1 over x squared plus x squared okay now remember we don't know the value of x we don't know x squared neither okay but recall that whenever you have a squared plus b squared that can be written as a plus b squared minus 2ab okay so if you now have 1 over x squared plus x squared so that must be written as what 1 over x plus x then minus 2 in bracket of 1 over x times x so that is what you are going to apply a okay now when you put that there which is minus in brackets we've said the whole of this expression can be written as this okay which is 1 over x plus x all squared minus 2 in bracket of 1 over x times x so and of course this x you take this so you have minus in bracket of 1 over x plus x squared minus 2 and don't forget we are working with 1 over x plus x where that has been given to be root 3 okay so that is root 3 squared minus 2 okay so the two we cancel square roots the square we cancel square roots so which is minus 3 minus 2 and this is minus 1 so which implies that x to the power of 100 plus 1 over x raised to the power of 100 down is what minus 1 provided that x plus 1 over x is equal to what root 3 okay so don't forget to comment like and subscribe thank you